Here in Rwanda's mostly mountainous district of Muzanzi stands the Africa Rising Cycling Center, a high-performance training center about 100 kilometers from the capital, Kigali. This property sits on one hectare of land, about two and a half acres. Just, we have 16 houses, a garage that we're, we're trying to build, we're finding funding for. We also have a temporary garage where our mechanics currently work out of. The Sandy Grant Education Center, a large kitchen with a large dining area, which also doubles as our yoga room. So it's it's really a place that can help us grow. We, we're able to house 15 people. 50 people at a time, so we had 50 uh, teams, 50 people from three different teams, Eritrea, Ethiopia, three Rwandan teams, coaches, mechanics, all sorts of people here for the tour of Rwanda, and it numbered over 50. Created with the purpose of unifying African countries through the sport, the Africa Rising Cycling Center is open to riders from across the continent, with recent visitors from Congo Brazzaville, Eritrea, South Africa, as well as Ethiopia. We've actually had a couple of teams inquire about coming here for training, uh, especially after the tour of Rwanda. Everybody, I guess, thought we were drinking magic water or something <laughs> and wanted to come here. But uh, we recently, uh, when the boys were at the tour of Cameroon last month, we just got an email from one of the owners of one of the clubs in Cameroon, and he said, we were so impressed with your riders' performance. We are impressed with how they act, their discipline, their focus. They're really inspirational young men, and we want our team to, to see this and to be able to be that type of team. And they have asked to come here to train for two weeks. We are so happy and we are so glad in this, because after this time, uh, we get uh, a more experience and we get a, uh, uh, other things and uh, we are so happy and this is good uh, to us. With the bikes, we've been really fortunate. Jock Boyer, the coach and techn technical director of Team Rwanda, has been in cycling for 40 years and he's got many, many, many great relationships with companies in Europe, the US, Canada, and those companies have bought into us from the very beginning, six, seven years ago, and have given us free product, discounted product. Um, they've really kept us in the game. Um, and then in 2014, when we won the tour of Rwanda, and we had a meeting with President Kagame, he said that we have shown discipline and we have done all of this without a lot of support from the country of Rwanda financially. And he said, now you have earned it and it's time for up, us to step up to the plate. And that was a huge breakthrough. And right now we have 26, 18 race bikes and eight time trial bikes that President Kagame has organized for the team. And they are the best of the best. It's what professional teams are riding in Europe. Things, yeah are really working out and the riders do understand they their base of, of training is really good and everything that they've been doing they're learning quickly they're now they're understanding the tactics of the race and that took pretty much eight years right now in rwanda there's not a lot of women in the pool of up and coming women through the system and that's something we need to work on and the federation has agreed starting in may to start running single speed races so that we can start looking for young talent right now jean d'arc is by far head and shoulders above everybody else and that's one of the reasons we brought the ethiopian girls in as well is that she needed to be racing with women who are at her level or higher <laughs>
My name is Joan Duck Girubuntu. I'm 19 years old and I can say cycling is my talent. When I started cycling, I never really thought that I would get to where I am. But right now, I can comfortably say that I got to this point because of Uineza Diane, since she's the one who introduced the sport to me and came home to pick me to go for training. She taught me how to ride on the road, how to change the brakes, and she introduced me to Coach John, who managed to train me. I have reached a level that even if it's not yet good, but I'm working with different coaches. I have managed to come here in a training camp and I'll go to Switzerland, the World Cycling Centre in Ego. My counterparts under me have talent because I do not leave them by a big margin during competition. If the Federation helps us and we go for competition, it would be good because riding alone is lonely. Kajana na Federasi do Fashije, Kawasha Kujenda, Kaya to Jango Gusoka, to Gasoka Tunga Nungaba, Navane, Navatano, Usotse, Urume, Virakuna. Discipline is really important to this team, and we control our environment. And we do that for a couple of reasons. And so we wanted to give them a place where work is work, home is home. And when they're here, they're focused, this is their job. And we give them phone time. At, at first we took it away for the entire week, but now some of them, we've given them phones for short periods of time, but only when they have true free time and not when they're supposed to be sleeping or in English or, you know, yoga. And they've gotten really good about it. And it actually, they notice it now when they travel. Ultimately, this center's vision is to field the first all-black African team to race at the highest levels in Europe, including Giro d'Italia and Vuelta a España, as well as the Tour de France. Team Rwanda, our motto is team is team, and we really do live that. And everybody who works in this place, in the Africa Rising Cycling Center, is part of this team. And we have a full-time gardener, we have six full-time guards, we have somebody that cleans the house. We have an amazing cook, Thomas, who feeds so many people. I don't know how he does it every day. And there's so many people that it takes to run this place. And they all feel that they are part of this team. And when we won the tour of Rwanda last year, it was so awesome to see how excited they were.